Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. A gentleman in his 50s was found after three or four days. Then he comes down and around, and this is where his feet were. It's really, really cold in here. Like, really cold in here. So, we are in St. Pete. A uh, guy, a gentleman in his 50s, was found after three or four days. Automatically, it's freezing in here. The smell's not overpowering at all. It doesn't smell loud in here. Wow, that's, yeah, so, this is it. Um, probably going to remove the bed cover as well because we see biohazard there. There's a dryer in here. <clears throat> One stop shop. So the smell isn't bad even in here. Three days the AC, it's got to be, it's got to be 65 degrees in here. It is cold. Uh, we're going to, we're going to end up leaving an ozone machine though because the smell is, is here. We don't want it in here. You got the air conditioner and the fan running. Yeah, let me go set that up. Uh, let me go. Ben's gonna be the runner. <coughs> Three flights. I'm breathing, I'm just taking a break. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. Because of the wonderful things he does. They were prepared. They had a fan waiting for us already turned on. Yeah. The police department was amazing. Showed us exactly where he was, how he laid. I'm just being fat and lazy right now, sitting in front of a fan. Fuck them. <laughs> really? <laughs> Your fans turn it towards me. It's walking. Yeah. <laughs> I need the indicator so I can see where we're cleaning. Make sure you grab the both of them or you're gonna walk down three more flights. Yeah. <laughs> bio, 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 bio. So speaking with St. Petersburg police, he was a sick guy. They, uh, they took medication that needed to be taken. Um, they took all of the weapons that needed to be taken, natural causes, being sick. It's kind of bad. We're gonna dive in and see exactly where he was. He said that if his feet were under the bed, his head was in the closet. So we're gonna kinda go from here and see what's up. The police officer said they slid the bed over because he was here, his feet were underneath the bed. So the bed was actually right over here, um, which makes sense and lines up with where the impressions are on the carpet. So the closet, we're actually not going to have to um, remove the whole closet. We can actually cut straight across, fingers crossed. So if you look, if you look here, it's like right at the line and then he comes down and around as I fall over, comes down and around and this is where his feet were. So he wasn't a very big gentleman. They did say he was sick and they were here for about seven hours yesterday. I'm hoping the cleanup doesn't take very long, but I do have to keep a very close eye out for family because they need, they were wanting to come in and get some belongings with this stuff going on. With this stuff going on, they can't, they, they can't uh, come in here. So just let it go. Sorry, Juan is dancing. 
And I thought, it, and Ben's dancing too now, so they're both dancing as I'm trying to do this. I don't think we have to cut the closet out. Because it's right here at the line with the closet door. can't scrub anymore because it's literally going through the floor so I really don't want to hit the neighbors downstairs with my fat ass so we're gonna seal it as the extra precaution and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause for the cause, and ring that bell.
to get notifications when we launch our new episodes every Thursday. Have a good day, guys. Peace.